enthalpy and thermodynamics well to learn the complete concept of enthalpy we must learn the concept of internal energy let consider gas enclosed in this container we can see that the gas particles are constantly moving in all directions we already know that when particles are in motion they possess kinetic energy hence these gas particles have kinetic energy secondly these gas particles interact with each other we know that when particles interact they possess potential energy hence these gas particles also possess potential energy now let me ask you what is the total energy of these gas particles the answer is simple the total energy of these gas particles is kinetic energy plus potential energy now listen carefully This total energy of the gas particles is also known as internal energy. I mean, internal energy is the total energy of a system, and it is equal to sum of kinetic energy and potential energy. Therefore, we define internal energy as the sum of all forms of energy of a substance is called internal energy. Let me repeat it: the sum of all forms of energy of a substance. is called internal energy thus remember that internal energy is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy now we will learn some important questions about internal energy can we find the absolute value of internal energy the answer is no we cannot find the absolute value of internal energy rather we can only find the change in internal energy like change in internal energy is equal to final value of internal energy minus initial value of internal energy secondly how can we change the internal energy of a system well we can change the value of internal energy by two means either change kinetic energy of the system or change the potential energy of the system by these two ways we can change the value of internal energy for example consider gas enclosed in this container when we add some sort of heat to it as a result kinetic energy increases and internal energy of the system also increases thirdly what is the internal energy for ideal gas in isothermal process well in case of ideal gas remember that there is no interaction between particles hence potential energy for ideal gas particles is zero i write internal energy is equal to kinetic energy plus zero secondly in isothermal process temperature remains constant we know that at constant temperature kinetic energy is equal to zero i write internal energy is equal to zero plus zero i get internal energy is equal to zero thus remember that for ideal gas in isothermal process internal energy is equal to zero hence note down all these important points now what is enthalpy well consider this sir donkey because this is the poor animal who helps humanity that's why i call it sir donkey we know that Sir Donkey can only work for us if we give him some sort of food or energy. This food or energy is the internal energy of Sir Donkey. Using this internal energy, this poor animal can do different work. So there are two terms here: internal energy and work done. Thus remember that when there is internal energy, it can do some sort of work. Let me repeat this important point. when there is internal energy it can do some sort of work also remember that sir donkey is the enthalpy which contains both internal energy and has the ability to do some sort of work now consider gas enclosed in this container let i add some sort of heat to it as a result the particle starts moving fastly and kinetic energy of the system increases we know that when kinetic energy increases internal energy of the system changes i again some sort of more heat to this system this time the movable piston moves in upward direction we say that 
work is done on the system. Now listen carefully. Here, heat content is doing two important jobs. Firstly, it is changing the internal energy of the system when kinetic energy of particle increases. Secondly, it is doing work on the system. In contrast, if we do not add heat to the system, internal energy of the system will not increase and the work done on the system will be zero. Remember that this heat content is known as enthalpy. Let me repeat it. This heat content is known as enthalpy. Thus we say that enthalpy is changing the internal energy of the system plus it is doing some sort of work on the system. Let me repeat it. Enthalpy is changing the internal energy of the system plus it is doing some sort of work on the system. Or I write del H is equal to del U plus we know that Worden is equal to product of pressure and volume. So enthalpy is equal to internal energy of the system plus the product of pressure and volume. Therefore, we define enthalpy as the amount of heat absorbed or released by the system to cause a change in the system is called enthalpy. Remember that if del H is positive, the process absorbs heat from the surrounding and it is said to be endothermic process. If del H is negative, the process releases heat to the surrounding and it is said to be exothermic process. Also remember that there are two ways to write enthalpy change. At constant volume, we write del H is equal to del U plus V into del P, while at constant pressure, we write del H is equal to del P plus P into del V. We use this equation in most cases because atmospheric pressure is constant. Thus note down all these important points. Now let me teach you some important points about enthalpy. The first point is we cannot find the absolute value of enthalpy H. Rather, we can only find the change in enthalpy del H. I mean, we cannot find H, but we can find del H. Secondly, enthalpy is a state function. It only depends upon initial and final value. It does not depend upon path. That's why we write del H is equal to HF minus HI. Thirdly, del H is always zero in a cyclic process because the initial and final value is the same. Fourthly, del H is extensive property. I mean, it depends upon the amount of substance. The less is the amount, the smaller is the del H. The greater is the amount, the larger is the del H. Hence, note down all these important points. Lastly, let me teach you the relationship between enthalpy and first law of thermodynamics. We have already learned that del H is equal to del U plus P del V. Let this is equation number one. Now according to first law of thermodynamics, del U is equal to Q plus W. We know that Worden is equal to minus P del V. Here, this negative sign means that work is done by the system. I write del U is equal to Q minus P del V. Let this is equation number 2. Now I plug in equation number 2 and equation number 1. I write del H is equal to Q minus P del V plus P del V. This and this term cancelled out. I get del H is equal to Q. Thus we say that enthalpy del H is equal to amount of heat at constant pressure. I put here P, which means constant pressure. Thus remember that del H is equal to amount of heat at constant pressure. Finally, let me teach you numerical problems of enthalpy change. For example, consider this numerical problem. One mole of a non-ideal gas undergoes a change of states from this to this with a change in internal energy equals to 50 liter atmosphere. Find the change in enthalpy. Well, 
I write the given data. The change in internal energy is equal to 50 liter atmosphere. The initial pressure is 3 atmosphere. The initial volume is 5 liter. On the other hand, the final pressure is 6 atmosphere. The final volume is 7 liter. We are asked to find del H. We already know that del H is equal to del U plus del P into V. Our del H is equal to del U plus P2 V2 minus P1 V1. Now I plug in all these values in this equation. After calculation, I get del H is equal to 76 liter atmosphere. Thus the enthalpy change is 76 liter atmosphere for this system. I hope you learned all about enthalpy change.